Well, it is time to make sure you know the law when it comes to fantasy sports. And of course, with the NFL season here, the explosion of ads on TV, you've seen it for DraftKings, FanDuel. And I said to my husband, what, what is this? He goes, oh, it's fantasy football. Well, Noble McIntyre here to set the record straight for McIntyre Law. And, and first of all, uh, first question is, is this even legal? You know, it's, a, it's an interesting deal. I was playing it the other night. I was in DraftKings, and, and my wife looked at me, and she said, isn't this online gambling? You, you can't do this in Oklahoma. And so what people don't understand was when Congress passed the law in 2006, when, when the Internet was exploding and you started to have these online gaming sites, saying online gaming is illegal, you can't do this. They actually carved out an exception for fantasy sports, fantasy football. <laughs> but you have to remember, at the time, it was a carve out for exceptions for things like, like you, your husband yeah, does and yes. I do, where you got a group of 12 guys and they all put in $25 and they pick their team and they compete all year long. You didn't have the platform that existed at that time of FanDuel and DraftKings where it's a daily fantasy sport and you pay a fee to enter each individual game and it's become a multi-billion dollar industry. And I'm sure when they made that law they had no idea, of course, as always, what technology was to come. That's exactly right and now it has exploded and it's it's all over the country and so now states are starting to wake up saying, now wait a minute, this is, this is gaming, this is online gaming, this shouldn't be legal. And you now have 10 states that have banned it. So you have uh, fantasy football leagues like uh, DraftKings, which you see on your screen, they now won't take bets, bets, they don't call them the bets, they call them entry fees, mm -hmm. uh, from people in 10 different states. And you have multiple, multiple other states. You'll see on the screen, I played this last week, I won $8. I was in 16,000th <laughs> place. Look at you. If you look at this though, I entered three leagues. The bottom one is a dollar. There were 58,000 people that entered and I finished 58,000th. I only beat about 400 third graders that were picked on what the football players looked like <laughs> and so but this is what it was they just showed up a screen where you enter and there's there's different ways that you can win and how much money you can win and there's million dollar pots there's million dollar pots now so, it's still legal though in Oklahoma to do it they'll, it is it is still, still legal take in Oklahoma our bids or yeah you yeah. can still bet bet I keep saying bet they don't want you to use gaming terms you can still wager and enter your bet in Oklahoma for now but there were two bills that were attempted to be passed this last legislative season and a season, I'm talking football season now, <laughs> session, I session. Know you met. And, and uh, but the, the Indian tribes got involved and said, now wait a minute, the state, you're trying to regulate this so that you can have your piece of the pie because the states want to tax it. And, and the Indian tribes have compacts with state and rightly so said, any gaming in Oklahoma, we have to be part of. We have to be part of this conversation. And so they put a stop to the efforts to put us, you know, to change anything in Oklahoma this year, but it's going to come up next year. And the same things happen around the countries where there's Indian tribes that have compacts with the states. They're getting involved and in trying to be a part of the discussion. Oh my goodness. So you will really have to watch how those laws play out. Now, meanwhile, these companies that, you know, started this FanDuel and the other one, um, I think, do they go out of business once all the states pass? You know, I mean, how does that it's, work? It's a good question. New York started the ball rolling downhill, and it. And I was reading an article the other day where it caught DraftKings and FanDuel completely off guard because they came in and said, you can't do anything right. anymore in the state of New York anymore. And New York is a huge site for them to do that. And so it dropped about 30% of their mm -hmm. revenue going into this year. And so those two companies, which are the largest two, really want to make sure that this thing continues smoothly. And so now they have 110 lobbyists between the two of them <laughs> that are spread out across the country country and they're lobbying all these different states trying to get some legislation passed which will allow them to continue doing this. Remind me to sell that stock, okay Noble? Yeah, sell it, <laughs> sell it short and we'll make some money that get way. Out. I know, I know. If you need answers in action, what do you do when you call the McIntyre Law Firm because they're personal injury experts. Their office is located 8601 Southwestern Avenue right here in Oklahoma City. You can reach them at 917-5200. Also, you can find them on the web at McIntyreLaw.com and on Facebook at Oklahoma Law and on Twitter at McIntyreLaw. You can't miss them.